hello everyone welcome to solve this math olympiad algebra problem so here we have x square minus y square equals to 39 and we solve this problem for the values of x and y but here you remember one thing is that our x and y should must be an positive integers it means that we solve this problem for the positive integral values of x and y now first we focus on the left hand side and here we apply the famous algebraic formula you know that a x square minus y square equals to x minus y times of x plus y equals to 39 and you see here in the left hand side we have two factors are multiplied by each other but in the right hand side we have only one factor so now we find any positive integral pair of numbers whose product is 39 so we have uh, the possibilities there are possible uh, pair of numbers are in which the product is 39 is uh, 3 times of 13 equals to 39 and 13 times of 3 is equals to 39 and 1 times of 39 equals to 39 and 39 times of 1 equals to 39 so we have these are the four possibilities in which we get the product of two numbers is 39 and now uh, here we uh, solve these four possibilities one by one now here first we can uh, write the first case and now in first case we can compare these two factors with these two numbers okay so when you compare x minus y uh, is equals to 3 and x plus y is equals to 13 uh, so we call this is equation number 1 and this is our equation number 2 and now first we sum up equation number 1 and equation number 2 and you see here this is negative y and positive y are gone and you get x plus x equals to 2x 3 plus 13 equals to 16 and now for the values of x we divide both of the sides by 2 this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and this is 2 times of 8 becomes 16 and we get here x is equals to 8 so this is the first uh, real value of x and this is also positive integer values okay so now we can find the value y so that we put this value of x uh, in any one of these equations so we put this value in equation number 2 so equation number 2 is implies that when we put this here it will becomes 8 plus y is equals to 13 and for the value of y we move this 8 to the right hand side and we get 13 minus 8 so you get here uh, y is equals to 5 so you see here both of the values of x and y are positive integers and this is our first uh, positive integer solution of the given equation so x y equals to 8 and 5 this is the, our first solution and now here in order to find the other solutions we uh, focus in the other cases so here uh, we write our second case and in second case we compare these two factors with these two values okay so here we can write our second case so we write x minus y is equals to 13 and x plus y is equals to 3 these are the two, uh, other two cases and here we recall this is equation number 3 and this is equation number 4 so we solve these two equations now again we add equation number 3 and equation number 4 first so you see here this is negative and positive term are cancelled out by each other and we get here x plus x equals to 2x 3 13 plus 3 equals to 16 and now we again divide both of the sides by 2 so you get this 2 and this 2 are cancelled out by each other and this is 2 times of 8 becomes 16 and we get x is equals to 8 so this is the value of x and now we can uh, substitute this value of x in any one of these equations so here uh, we can put this value in equation number 4 so that equation number 4 is implies that when you put x equals 8 this will be written as 8 plus y is equals to 3 and here we move this 8 to the right hand side and we get y is equals to 3 minus 8 and we obtain y equals 3 minus 8 becomes minus 5 
so you see here this value is negative and it is not belongs to positive integer okay so if this value of y is not positive integer we rejected this case because we solve this problem only po only positive integer values so here we rejected the uh, second case and now we move forward uh, to case number three and in case number three we compare these two factors with 1 and 39 and after comparing these values we write it as x minus y x minus y is equals to 1 and x plus y is equals to 39 we call this is equation number 5 and this is our equation number 6 so now uh, we add uh, these two equations first for the values of x so when you add these two equations you see here this is negative and positive are gone we get 2x is equals to 1 plus 39 equals to 40 and we find the value of x uh, so that we divide both of the sides by 2 and this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and this is 2 times of 20 becomes 40 and we get the value of x is equals to 20. So this is the our uh, third value this is the first value of x and now we can put this value of x in any one of these equations and we get the a value of y so we put this value of x in equation number six so equation number six is implies that uh, after substituting this value it will be written as 20 plus y is equals to 39 and we get y is equals to 39 minus 20 so you get the value of y is equals to 19 so you see here the value of x is plus 20 y is plus 19 so both of these values are positive integers so this is our second solution of the given equation so we write our second solution as x y is equals to 20 and 19 this is the second positive integer solution and now here uh, we move forward uh, to towards case number three so in case number three we compare uh, our uh, we compare these two factors with these two values 39 and 1 so that after comparing uh, these values we write here two equations x minus y equals to 39 and x plus y is equals to 1 we call this is equation number 7 and this is equation number 8 so uh, here we first add equation number 7 and equation number 8 so this is negative and positive are gone and we get x plus x equals 2x 39 plus 1 becomes 40 and we divide both of the sides by 2 you see here this is 2 times of 20 is 40 these are gone you get x is equals to 20 so this is the first positive integer value of x and now we put this value of x in any one of these equations and uh, we can put this value in equation number 8 so equation number 8 implies that this is x plus y equals 1 and x is 20 plus y equals to 1 and here we get y equals to 1 minus 20 and we get y equals to minus 19 this is the value of y and you see here this is the negative value this is negative integers and it is not belongs to positive integers so here uh, if it is not belongs to positive integer uh, this means that uh, the second solution is not satisfied our given condition so uh, here we rejected uh, this case and we have only two solutions which we can write above and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.